experience all kinds of different grief that they have to go but there are a lot of people that don't that kind of shy away and you talk about this in the book they don't know what to say so they don't say anything so tell everybody the things they shouldn't say the things that they should say hardship brings this huge elephant it's like following you around and again it's not just death it's cancer you want to silence a room get diagnosed with cancer losing a job someone going to prison we don't know what to say so often we don't say anything at all and i realized i used to do this if someone was going through something hard the first time i saw them i would say i hope you're okay and then i would never mention it again because i thought i was reminding them that's ridiculous you can't remind me i lost dave i know i lost dave i know every day to this day and always will so by not saying anything you really destroy relationships and for me you know i used to drop my kids off at school and everyone would say hi I'd walk into work and everyone would chit chat but after I lost Dave, it wasn't just the grief at home, it was the isolation, this big elephant following me around. People looked at me like I was a ghost. I think they were so afraid to say anything, they said nothing. And I realized I had done that before. And so, look, everyone grieves in their own way. There's no one way to do it, but saying to someone, I know this is hard and I'm here to talk is huge. The power of the word we. I used to say to people, you're gonna get through this. My friend Phil, who named the book, said, we are gonna get through this. We, so powerful. And I think the other thing I got wrong is, I used to say to people, is there anything I can do? And I meant it, I meant it kindly. But it kind of shifts the burden to the person you're trying to help. They're supposed to tell you what to do. I didn't know what to say. Well, can you make Father's Day disappear so I don't have to live through it every year? Instead of offering to do anything, just do something. My friend, Dan Levy, wonderful man, he's a wonderful wife, Esther, they lost a child and they were in the hospital for many months, tragically. One of his friends texted him and said, I'm in the lobby of this hospital for a hug for the next hour, whether you come down or not. That is powerful. Yeah, that's really amazing. Um, you are a, a, a very, uh, a very powerful woman you you like I said your career is huge and yet during this process that you when you lost Dave you lost self-confidence which is amazing because